morning everyone this is devotional message i'll read from proverbs chapter 21 verse 2 every way of a man is right in his own eyes but the lord wages the hearts like it's interesting a verse here like where man always think he is right in his own eyes and things sometimes he get into a uh, like you know trap like when something goes wrong why it went wrong and it, 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 they struggle uh, in their mind and in their thoughts uh, because they are now competing within themselves like and I wanted to do right and but now it went wrong like in uh, where uh, Paul says in Romans chapter 7 the things I want to do right but uh, I cannot do but like beautiful thing is that uh, in uh, Romans chapter 8 verse 1 therefore there is no condemnation because it's who like God who died for us and he does not, he is the one who judges us and he was judged God was judged on that cross and that judgment of God was on Jesus Christ and and that uh, judgment was perfect judgment and that judgment and that sac sacrifice was a perfect sacrifice where in Hebrew chapter 10 verse uh, 4 says for it is not possible that the blood of bulls and goat could take away sins those sacrifices which was happening in uh, Old Testament that those sacrifices was temporary uh, it was a picture of coming Messiah the coming lamb where that sacrifice would be perfect sacrifice for our sins not of bull and not of uh, animal sacrifice which is like just reminder of every year it was a reminder for their sins but this sacrifice which Jesus shed on that cross uh, that sacrifice wipe away all our sins permanently and God does not remember those sins which Jesus Christ died on that cross for our sins like his sacrifice was a perfect sacrifice the judgment of God there was perfect judgment of God for our on our behalf for our sake and that's amazing like he is perfect God is perfect man is not perfect as a believer even though we uh, we are born again even though we follow Christ there are days where we are not perfect but God is perfect the Holy Spirit which is within us he is a perfect we have a God 100% perfect and and we are 100% many times we are uh, imperfect uh, uh, but we have a 100% uh, Holy Spirit the 100% Holy Spirit in a sense he stays in us he in, is indwelling in us and he is a 100% great guide at the teacher we have a word of God which this information uh, which we have 100% perfect there is no error because uh, Second Timothy 3.16 says that the whole scripture the all scripture is inspired by the God's breath you know and the inspiration is like God's breath and it's and it's uh, wonderful for, for our correction and for our discipline and for our uh, uh, growth the edification for and we have a church which is 100 percent church which is the body of Christ uh, is perfect though man who fit in sometimes we may be weak sometimes we may fall in many of our areas but Jesus Christ is building the church in according to Matthew chapter 16 where Jesus said I will build my church the builder is perfect that's the reason the church the body of Christ because of Christ as a builder the church is perfect uh, in a sense we may not perfect uh, when we uh, uh, fellowship and some many times we may not have a, a right attitude many times but it's God who edifies to the pulpit it's God who really uses pastor teachers and he is a builder uh, and that's amazing like we have a we belong to a perfect a creator and and uh, even we may fall uh, in our in our uh, 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 seasons of life but we have a perfect sacrifice uh, we have a perfect God we have a perfect judge we have a perfect teacher that is Holy Spirit and uh, and and when we fail and fall he rem he uh, uh, forgives our sin then we have a, a perfect judge in a sense that he does not forget our uh, service to the Lord and when we show the love for each other he does not forget that he's not unjust he's a just God so he's a perfect uh, judge who evaluate the our life 
and that we can see in the coming uh, days where we stand before Christ, the judgment seat of Christ, where Christ will evaluate our life. He's a perfect uh, judge where he, he, as a human being, as a pastor, as a spiritual leader or as a uh, congregational member, sometimes we may think this is what, this is this, it should be like this. But actually God is the one the who judge perfectly. And, and that's the reason we depend on Christ, we depend on Word, de we depend on Holy Spirit. Uh, and it is only God who can help us uh, during our uh, time of trouble and during a time of con confusion and during a time of the, when we don't find any way. Uh, the, it is God who shows us the way. And uh, we, can, we can say that, you know, man uh, may, may be uh, right in his own way. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord wage is the heart. That's a word which I want to uh, think, which I want to ponder, because God is a perfect God, and, and let's depend on his uh, way and uh, on his words, on his plan, his will. Let's depend on, uh, on him for today, because, because he is a perfect, uh, he is a perfect God, he is a perfect and it is sacrifice is perfect and today he'll guide perfectly even though sometimes we, we may not uh, handle it perfectly but he will lead us perfectly amen thank you